So to begin this question, we need to first find the power transmitted. And to find power, we know that the power is equal to the current times the voltage. So we'll simply take 50 amps and we'll multiply that by 3600 volts. That'll give us a power of 180,000 watts. So this is the power that's being sent across the line or the wire. Next, we'll need to calculate the power loss and we'll begin by finding the current that is traveling along the wire. So we'll take the power that we just calculated and we'll divide it by the voltage. So we'll take 180,000 watts and we'll divide that by 100,000 volts. That'll give us a current of 1.8 amps that is going across the wire. Now, next we need to find the voltage drop that occurs from point A to point B so as it travels the wire and we can find that by using Ohm's law. So we'll go ahead and plug in 1.8 amps and we'll multiply that by 100 ohms. This will give us a voltage drop of 180 volts. Next we'll have to calculate the power loss and we'll get that by once again using P is equal to I times delta V. So we'll take 1.8 amps and we'll multiply it by 180 volts. This will give us a power loss of 324 watts. Now to calculate the percentage that was dissipated as heat in the power line, we'll simply take the two powers that we calculated, find the ratio between them and multiply it by 100. So we'll get 324 watts divided by 180,000 watts times 100, which will give us 0.18% that was dissipated as heat. 